Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Scoob. This is the newest 2020 film, it's supposed to be on theaters. Uh, it is rated PG, it runs about an hour and a half. And it stars Will Forte, Mark Wahlberg, and Jason Isaacs. The boys' talents of. The description, Scooby and the gang face their most challenging mystery ever, a plot to unleash the ghost dog, Cerebus, around the world, upon the world. As they race to stop the dog apocalypse, the gang discovers that Scooby has an epic destiny greater than anyone imagined. Kind of give away the plot with the description, don't you think? But this is Scoob. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. This is my 600 and first, 601. Mm -hmm. This is my 600 first uh, video reviewing a movie on YouTube. And uh, I was excited to finally be able to watch good old Scoob here. Uh, like I said, it was supposed to be out in theaters. And theaters aren't open. Everybody was wondering how to watch this. Uh, there's a couple ways of watching it free, but otherwise it's like $20 if you go through Amazon or On Demand or anything like that. So I would wait to watch this for free. I will say that much, okay? But uh, yeah, let's talk about Scoob here. Uh, the first thing right off the bat, right off the beginning of the movie, um, this starts with Shaggy and Scooby at the very beginning of their friendship. As, uh, Shaggy as a kid, Scoob as a pup. And I just don't like how they did it. I don't like how... I thought Shaggy should have looked younger. I thought Scoob should have looked a little bit more like a pup. And maybe had a little bit more of a pup voice. And I just didn't like... Like Shaggy looked like he was like almost 16 or 17. I would have liked if he looked more like 10, 12... So, I just thought that that whole sequence did not look that great. Um, everybody else's voices, I mean, I don't know. I Some people I've already heard have kind of liked how the voices kind of matched up or whatever. And I just didn't. I didn't care for everybody's voices, how they got casted. I don't know what's wrong with them. It just didn't seem very normal of a Scooby movie. So, um, I like how they started out the movie as younger, like at the beginning, you know, of everything. I like how they explored that area of the Mystery Machine people, but uh, I could have used more. Like when it started out with them trick or treating and going into this house and they catch this ghost, like. That's how it starts, and that's very natural. It's very normal, right? That's what we're used to. It sets it up for that, and then it goes off on this story and this the movie, what the movie's about. I could have used more of them as kids. I could have used more of the original stuff. Like when that happened, I think we all kind of went back into our, you know, younger kid days. You know, people my age, and we're like, oh, I really like that. So I could have used more of that stuff. Um, like they did have some different elements, you know, it's an up-to-date movie, the animation, animation, uh, was fine, um, I thought it was a little stiff sometimes, like people like Fred are just kind of left standing there sometimes, um, you know, I don't know, Daphne didn't do much in this movie, but her character just looks like a, I don't know, like, just really, really stiff. But um, they had these cute little robots for our kind of minions of the movie. And uh, they were very cute. They added a, another layer to this. Um, like, you know, they're, uh, they're supposed to be evil. They're supposed to be helping the evil person. But they have emotions. They have a personality. I like that, you know, layer of this movie. And obviously kids will get a kick out of that. And us adults kind of enjoy the action, you know, the, you know, the, the saws that they bring out of their hands and, you know, then how funny they are. And I mean, it just, 
they are going to be one of the brightest spots of this movie that people should be talking about more. I mean, the Minions got their own movie. Whatever these robot things are called, they should be a hit. They should. They were really cute. Um, honestly, like I know a lot of people are going to say that we enjoy the old stuff of Scooby, mm-hmm. you know, the older movies and everything, the classic stuff. But I kind of like Shaggy's adult voice. He just doesn't seem that out of it. Like, maybe this is pre-him turning full Shaggy and everything, but I really like this version of him. He just seems very mellow. He seems very kind. He seems really in touch, you know, with him and Scooby's friendship. And I just really like how they handled that. And I like whoever voiced Shaggy. I like how mellow they sound. You know, they don't have sound so raspy of a Shaggy. And I really like this version of him. So if we get more and more Scooby movies in the future, I like Shaggy to sound more mellow like this. I like him to be more of an in-touch personality and character and... Um, rather than just so out of it and kind of, you know, floating out in the area and just kind of saying stuff to be weird. Uh, this one was him at the beginning of his, you know, kind of career as with the mystery people. And I just enjoyed this side of him, this story of him, this way of talking. Just, it, it was a lot more attractive. Um... Like the cute robots, another plus I just have to throw out there. Like, I didn't like the storyline of Blue Falcon and his crew being kind of thrown in here because they almost overshadow the mystery company because they could kind of split up and have their own storylines and everything. This is really about Shaggy and Scooby. And it, it the Blue Falcon almost overshadows everything his dog is really cool his assistant is cooler than she should be and blue falcon just has this whole thing going on but his ship is sweet like i could watch that ship land a couple more times like that is cool that's a just one reason to watch this movie is just to check out the ship that is the falcon fury that's awesome um, now into the bad stuff. Um, I know I mentioned a couple things here and there, but, um, the whole villain thing, like, Dastardly and his dog, um, I know Falcon and Dastardly probably have had crossover stuff with the Scooby story before, but this movie seems to be a little bit too loaded, a little bit too much. Like, it turns into kind of like a Door the Explorer kind of adventure. Or, you know, name another kind of adventure. But um, this does go a lot of different ways. And in the end, I kind of appreciate it. And the message they have and the adventure they had. But that's like, you know, kind of second tier. Um, so that kind of stuff is fine. Um, I just think that it got a little too loaded of a movie. I thought the crossovers were a little weird, but then my first tier stuff here is the things that they did not need to include in this movie at all. I don't know why they felt like they had to make these little side jokes and little snide comments and stuff, but they ha- the the lightest one I would suppose is they reference the Wizard of Oz a lot. I'm not really sure why. Um, you know, like who's this movie really for? I was thinking about it when I was watching the movie. I'm like, it's probably for people under the age of fourteen. Right? Do fourteen year olds care today about Wizard of Oz? There's two references in this movie about Wizard of Oz. I'm like, do 14-year-olds really care about that? Um, The other one was like... Excuse me. (coughs) Excuse me. The other one was about Hemsworth. 
I'm like, okay, 14-year-old girls, okay? Tap into their brains for a second. <laughs> Is, do they know, do they care who the Hemsworths are? Not sure about that one. Uh, of course, they talk about poop. Um child movies that have to be desperate seem to talk about butts and stuff like that this one definitely does um and then there's a joke about throwing out these things from uh blue falcon and they call them f-bombs and i'm like okay come on now really i mean, like if you start telling some eight to twelve year olds uh, not to throw out F-bombs. You know what's going to happen. They're going to go to their friends and start throwing out F-bombs. I mean, it's just like, what are we doing here? You know, this is supposed to be a kid's movie. Uh, the last one that I just cannot believe is... Uh, <laughs> in a child's movie, they talk about Tinder. When I heard that word in this movie, I was like, are you kidding me? You're talking about Tinder. Like, do kids really need to know what that is? And they're going to they're gonna ask about it. I mean, this movie is actually really funny. I was into it most of the time. But for them to mention something as explicit as Tinder, like, what are we doing here? I don't know if they thought they were making a kids movie. I really think they were trying to appeal to people my age because, you know, they're trying to maybe go a little retro here, try and give us a little bit, uh, you know, flashback memory wise to the good old days of Scooby and everything. But if you're trying to appeal to 30 year olds, make this like a PG 13 or something and put the rating up a little bit, because if you're going to talk about stuff like Tinder, just let it be known, you know? So, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six critiques. So, out of an hour and a half movie, I have like six things that really kind of bothered me or just didn't feel right. So, I mean, does that make a movie horrible? No. Uh, most of the time I was laughing about this. Most of the time I was really wondering what was going to happen. It was a good adventure. I think it's mostly a good movie to watch. I just cannot believe they put some of this stuff in there. So, do with it what you will. If you must watch this, which I think a lot of people will and they'll enjoy it. Scooby has a lot of movies out there. You know, you can watch some of the other ones. Uh, they still might talk about poop. They still might talk about cuss words. They might reference stuff we don't care about. There's a, there's a celebrity in this movie that um, I don't even know if younger kids will know who he is. But, uh... Other than that, uh, I think it's a fine movie. I think it's enjoyable. Um, just to be nice, I'm going to give this movie a B-. minus. I think it's worth it. I think it's definitely worth watching. I could watch it again. It's a good adventure, good graphics, whatever. Good comedy, good characters, good bouncing off of each other. I, I think it's a good movie. I just don't know why they have to throw some of the stuff they did in there. So... A B minus for Scoob. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And enjoy movies. Thanks.